What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to be looking at how to count in multiples. Let's go. Okay, so let's remember that multiples are numbers that are in the times tables. And today we're going to focus on these four numbers here. We've got number 4, 8, 50 and 100. So let's start with number 4. And what we're doing is we're trying to find numbers that are in the 4 times table. So 4 would be the first one because that's just 4 times 1. But what's the next one? What happens when we get to times 2? Well, all we're doing essentially is we're doing 4 plus 4. And 4 plus 4 equals 8. So the next number in our multiples would be 8. 4 times 2 is 8. And if we're timesing it by 3, all I need to do now is 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 4, 8, 12. So I have an answer of 12. So therefore, my next multiple would be 12. Because what we should notice is all of these jumps are just adding on 4. So therefore, 12, adding another 4, becomes 16. And then 16, adding 4, would get to 20. And when we're talking about multiples, we can actually theoretically go on forever. I could end up with 400, for example, and then the next one, add 4, could be 404. So our multiples can just keep going infinitely. Let's have a look at our multiples of 8. It's exactly the same strategy. All we're going to do is find the next 8 by plusing 8. And 8, add 8, equals 16. So therefore, my next multiple would be 16. 16 add 8 would be my next one, and that equals 24. And then to find the next one, all I'm going to do is continue adding 8. 24 plus 8 equals 32. So our first four multiples of 8 would be 8, 16, 24, 32. And then our next one would actually be 40, then 48, 56, 64. 72 and 80 but remember we can go on forever there is no end now we get to a few more challenging ones we're going to have 50 which sounds like a huge number but actually 50 is pretty easy to understand because 50 is made up of five tens and zero units so therefore together i like to call it a happy number because we can put this smiley face in the 50 and the reason it's happy is it's quite easy to manage we could even forget about our happy face and just think of it as a 5 for now and do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and then put back our happy face. That would be 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. That could be one way you could solve this or we could just think 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, it's pretty easy to add up because we're just working with 50s. So therefore the first five multiples of 50 would be 50, 100, 150, 200 and 250. But don't forget, these could go on forever. And last but not least, let's look at 100. 100 is actually probably the easiest on this list because we have 100 and 200, 300, 400, 500, these are all multiples of 100. And let's just remind ourselves that we know it's a multiple because 700 is in the times tables of 100. They have a relationship. We would times 100 times 7 in this case equals 700. So we have our number, we're multiplying it by another number and we get 700. Therefore, 700 is a multiple of 100. It's also a multiple of 7. But we'll get to that in another lesson. Let's look at what to remember. When we multiply a number by another number, we get a multiple of both of those numbers. 
In other words, multiples are numbers in the times tables. Your turn. Can you write the first 10 multiples of each of these numbers? Put your answer in the comments section. I'm going to mark them all. Good luck. Press pause now. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or share this video with someone else you think it would benefit. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in another video. Peace out.